Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Saturday Challenge, and today we have Donald's cousin Gus, Gus Goose. Donald Duck has a cousin named Gus Goose. This is from 1939. It's an animated short. It's seven minutes long, and uh, it is, well, he gets, Donald gets a visit from his cousin. That's a, a, really, I can't tell you too much more than that without giving away the entire story. I'll give you a little tiny bit more. Uh, Gus is, is, doesn't seem to speak as much as, certainly not as much as Donald does, because his mouth is pretty much busy filling it with food. Even though his aunt sends a note along with him that, uh, for Donald, that tells him that he doesn't eat much. His aunt's a liar. So, yeah. Chaos ensues as Donald tries to just hold on to whatever food he has left in the house. And uh, he employs a very interesting tactic involving a hot dog. <laughs> I'm a minute into this, and I honestly can't tell you any more than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's in Technicolor. Uh, is it a silly symphony? I, I don't, I didn't, you know what, I kind of blanked out at that. I might have looked away. <laughs> Either way, this is, is a classic, uh, let's see, uh, Gus Goose is... It, Played by James McDonald, I don't recall him ever saying anything other than just making eating noises. And then Clarence Nash, of course, is Donald Duck. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, it's a um, it's a good, funny, silly uh, adventure, and uh, it all takes place at Donald's house. And Gus <laughs> has a certain way of looking at the world, uh, and that that is that he can pretty much e eat any of it, all of it, given a reason, four times a day counting T. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess Americans took tea in 1939 as much as the British. I, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, this is, oh, it's a radio, uh, RKO radio pictures kind of thing. When radio was still like, hey, check out this new thing called movies, motion pictures. So uh, I, that's all I can really tell you about this, but I'm going to, as I always do when it comes to these shorts, please please take the time to check out all of the shorts on Disney+. Plus. No, not all of them are on Disney+. Plus. Some of them are probably still on the way to being added, and some may never make it to Disney+, Plus because they have not aged well. Not because of the animation. Just saying. You can find those probably on YouTube. But uh, I, I, I wouldn't know how to search that, I imagine. Yep. I, yeah, I'm not going to tell you how. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, always, if if you enjoy anything that comes from Disney, whether it's uh, the new movie Wish, I've just added Disney+, Plus, or uh, the parks, or the all the endless piles of ephemera and merchandise and everything else, uh, you know what? None of it would be possible without these animated shorts way back in the day that featured Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Minnie, Pluto, and the rest and uh, it's, it's it's probably a good way to you pick a nice rainy Sunday afternoon and just go through it yourself or with the kids. doesn't matter. Uh, it's a good way to get an idea of where all of this came from. You wouldn't have any of it, certainly not Disney Plus, if it wasn't for these shorts. Uh, I know I'm getting repetitive for those of you who've heard me say that speech many, many times, but uh, it, it is true. So let's pick tomorrow's episode. 306. Almost at the very bottom of the list. Oop, overshot it. 306. Well, we're back to... We haven't had a documentary in a while. It's been a lot of movies and some TV shows and some shorts. But haven't... We've, we've gone a, a full week full of documentaries at one point. Well, we're back. And uh, I don't know if this is a series or just a one-off, but we'll find out tomorrow when we watch Welcome to Earth. Yes, it seems like an interplanetary invitation. We'll find out. Welcome to Earth and the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that. Bye.